Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Aquarius December 2017 horoscope forecast. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, the first thing is, well, the sun will be in Sagittarius as far as December goes from the 1st until the 21st. So the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time for Aquarius, there could be very strong focus and concentration of energy, perhaps on uh, friends and acquaintances. It could be the expansion of friends and acquaintances and bringing that Sagittarius-like exuberance and enthusiasm into those relationships. And it could also be as well, uh, one may embark on... Um, goals and aspirations that might be Sagittarius related, such as sports, philosophy, religion, something connected with the law, adventure, long distance journeys, um, higher education, expanding one's mind. And it might be done to again with that Sagittarius like exuberance and enthusiasm. So anyway, next thing is the sun will be in Capricorn as far as December goes from the 21st until the 31st. So the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time for Aquarius, well, there could be a very strong focus and concentration of energy on very, um, on gaining uh, perhaps, um, I guess it could be struck. We could look at structure and discipline, uh, maybe in, in one's matters pertaining to one's uh, private life. There could also be about shining the light, so to speak, on hidden advers adversaries and using that Capricorn-like discipline as well. And really, um, and about maybe taking responsibility into one's private life and also matters connected with restrictions and limitations, showing a lot of that Capricorn uh, serious responsible energy, perhaps in helping those less fortunate than others, such as the homeless, the impoverished, and the oppressed. Well, the next thing is the full moon will be in Gemini on December 3rd. So the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time for Aquarius, this could be a time where maybe Aquarius becomes somewhat full, so to speak, of spreading oneself uh, too thin, perhaps in, um, in love and, and romantic uh, matters. I mean, and, and maybe and, and maybe even in their hobbies and matters connected with children it could be maybe just doing too many things uh, being you know mr and mrs versatility and, and jack of all trades and, and matters connected with children and romantic partners and maybe too this could be about a very strong um, powerful emotional energy expressing these strong manifold Gemini emotions at this time in matters of the heart and with children uh, perhaps and, and really maybe trying to do maybe a little bit too much as far as things of a creative nature uh, as well. It could also be a time where maybe a creative writing project uh, may come to an end at this time or culmination. Uh, it could also be about maybe maybe a project you and a, a, a maybe one of the children worked on or you and a romantic partner worked on that required this gemini like dexterity such as working on an automobile or a refrigerator so i mean those are some things to look at as far as this goes the next thing is the new moon will be in sagittarius on december 18th so the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for aquarius so at this time for aquarius well this could be about maybe starting uh, something like a, a new aspiration or goal that could be Sagittarius related, something connected with the outdoors. I mean, it could even just be doing, uh, going around um, maybe uh, with, with friends with a metal detector, something outdoorsy, something connected with sports, with religion. Uh, it could be uh, post high school learning, doing a maybe adventure. Uh, traveling abroad, something Sagittarius-like, or it could just be something simply new you may embark on with friends and acquaintances, such and in doing so with a lot of that Sagittarian like ebullience, enthusiasm, and exuberance. So anyway, people, next thing is, well, uh, Mercury will be in Sagittarius 
uh, in December. So the 11th house, again, of course, is what is emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time for Aquarius, this could be uh, perhaps um, a lot of communication, real positive, optimistic-like communication with friends, with acquaintances, talking very positively about one's goals and aspirations and the future as well. Uh, this could also be, um, it could be about, I mean, Mercury, keep in mind, is also about short journeys. So this could be about taking, you know, going on little short journeys with friends, with acquaintances, and maybe in doing so, exploring uncharted territory, maybe doing things connected with learning, uh, post high school learning, uh, and really uh, in, in, in just doing, uh, in, in expanding the mind and, and being, and, and really this is about uh, to keep in mind that Mercury will be in retrograde motion from the 3rd until the 22nd. So this could be a lot about reviewing, going back perhaps to some philosophical religious discussions with friends and with acquaintances that may have been stopped at some point, but you decide to continue them at this time. It could also be a lot of, you know, more, you know, just more thinking, uh, you know, not really talking a lot about things, but maybe a mental review perhaps connected with your goals and, and with um, in, in aspirations that might be set something connected with Sagittarius. I mean, it could be, you know, something connected with uh, religion, with philosophy, uh, with the law, perhaps maybe something, you know, sports or something you're doing in the outdoors. So anyway, the next thing is, well, as far as December goes, Venus will be in Sagittarius from the 1st until the 25th. So the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time for Aquarius, well, this could be uh, perhaps uh, expressing uh, enjoyment, perhaps with friends, maybe doing something Sagittarius-like, such as something adventurous, ex exploration, sports, uh, something associated with um, higher education. It could be post, uh, perhaps post high school learning, uh, publishing. This could also be about maybe making money, may perhaps in matters connected with your goals and your aspirations. In some cases, if, if Aquarius, if you are unattached, it could be finding maybe a love, um, or this could be a, a sig potential significant other love interest that could be a Sagittarius sun, moon, or ascendant, may, or may simply embody those characteristics that may be introduced to you by a friend or might be somebody that could be a friend and it potentially, maybe it, it evolves into something stronger. So anyway, well, the next thing is, um, Venus will be in Capricorn as far as December goes from the 25th until the 31st. So the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time, well, in some isolated cases, I mean, this could indicate perhaps a clandestine type of affair or interlude, perhaps with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, or just simply an older person or somebody that embodies uh, Capricorn-like characteristics. This could be about maybe doing, making money somehow, and you know, being private about it. Doing so in seclusion. In some cases, it could be like Capricorn government-related. I mean, such as doing something, um, you know, just government-related that might be done in private or something that you just don't uh, really d discuss much uh, with other people. In some cases, though, keep in mind that. I mean, you're talking about the 12th house in Venus, so it could indicate some restrictions connect and limitations with finances, with monetary matters. And in some cases, too, if Aquarius, if you are currently attached and do have a significant other, this could be a time where maybe that this person that you're involved with maybe kind of, uh, you know, takes a step back for a little bit, comes out of view, since we're talking about that hidden 12th, uh, 12th house, the house of limitations and restrictions. And this could be a time perhaps when uh, maybe the, the person kind of comes out of view to some comes out of view to some degree and uh, and maybe the relationships a little bit more limited during this period. Now anyway, well the next thing is 
Well, as far as December goes, uh, Mars will be in Libra from the 1st until the 9th. So the 9th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time for Aquarius, this could be really, I mean, the, the situation with in-laws and with grandchildren, if applicable, might be a little bit more contentious and acrimonious than usual. Because this is Libra, this could be a lot of passive aggressive energy, an energy that is not necessarily outwardly uh, combative or confrontational. It could just be people not complying with one's requests or simply changing the subject uh, when, when you, you know, as opposed to actually outwardly uh, arguing with someone or being disputatious. At the same time, this could be a lot of energy perhaps expended and injected in matters connected uh, with higher education and it could be you know in that balanced Libra like way maybe deciding to take a number of different uh, courses finding a finding a balance uh, with that it could also be maybe taking a, a course that might be Libra uh, related such as something connected with the arts or uh, beauty so anyway well, the next thing is, as far as December goes, Mars will be in Scorpio from the 9th until the 31st. So the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time, this could be about Aquarius perhaps having a lot of uh, fixated and obsessive energy maybe injected in one's career and their reputation. The situations with uh, authority figures or and or made the dominant parent, which is often the father, may be a little bit more contentious and acrimonious than usual. It could be maybe very passionate, intense arguments and ones that might be tied in uh, to jealousy and um, maybe getting angry and vengeful uh, at the same time. So and why, the thing about this too is this could also be a lot of energy perhaps put into one's uh, career uh, efforts and this could be something Scorpio uh, related it could be connected with uh, astrology the occult supernatural something Scorpio related forensics investigation and really this is about a lot of energy perhaps getting to uh, the bottom of things it could be it could be mystery surrounding maybe someone you know that's prominent in your career life an authority figure the dominant parent and um, and maybe into in just in general that's i mean this is what this could be uh about so anyway well the next thing is uh jupiter uh will still be in scorpio of course uh in december so the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for aquarius so at this time for aquarius there might be uh this could be about some luck and fortune connected with the career perhaps through very strong Scorpio like you know transformation uh, dealing with major changes it could be dealing it, it could also remember that Jupiter is paradoxical I mean it's mainly I mean it's very benign and benevolent but it also can enlarge and expand it could expand surreptitious activity perhaps connected with one's reputation that it might you know adversely affect one's reputation or one's public image it could be in matters uh, connected with one's uh, career as well. Maybe you might suspect or, or see that uh, a dominant, the dominant parent or the uh, authority figure might be might be seeming a little bit snakier than usual in, in, a, in a very large way, considering we are talking about Jupiter uh, energy here. And really, this could be also some good luck and fortune tied into one's improving one's career and one's uh, stature in life as well and uh, in doing so maybe with dealing with a lot of really having to express a lot of those Scorpio like you know traits in a way I mean resiliency for example and through strong transformation so anyway well the next thing is Saturn as far as December goes, will be in Sagittarius from the 1st until the 20th. So the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time for Aquarius, this could be about uh, perhaps some limited exuberance and enthusiasm in matters connected with friends, with acquaintances, with their goals and aspirations, but could also give structure and discipline 
in these areas as well. In some cases, it could be about taking care of a debilitated friend or acquaintance, and it could be something Sagittarius related, such as something with the thighs or the hamstrings. And anyway, it could also be about taking responsibility in matters with one's goals, with one's aspirations, and to uh, the future. Uh, as well as far as uh, as far as this goes so anyway um, the next thing is well as far as December goes Saturn will be in Capricorn from the 20th until the 31st so the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius so at this time for Aquarius this could be a very strong introspective very serious Capricorn like introspection it could be about cleaning out the closet so to speak taking care discarding superfluous material and, and leaving only the important things uh, there and, and and really this too could be um, in some cases there could be a stronger need perhaps for seclusion and solitude than usual and but keep in mind that, that too much of this, I mean, could really, I mean, keep in concern, we're talking about the sign Capricorn in this as well, could cause one to be a little bit more despondent, depressed, more melancholy uh, than usual. So those are some things to look at as far as this goes. And in some isolated cases, I know people don't want to hear the dreaded D word, but this could be a passing of a father or an authority figure in one's uh, life and this is I mean I have um, I have Saturn in the 12th in my natal chart and I had a very early departure uh, from my uh, from my father and but at the same time this could be about Saturn and Capricorn in the 12th house being emphasized and highlighted this could be also it could be where it mean though if it's not the father passing it could show during this time that the relationship with the father might be a little bit dissipated and might be a little bit less and diminished during this time and restricted than usual so anyway next thing is uh, Uranus will be in Aries still of course and the third house is will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius so at this time for Aquarius this could be a lot of extemporaneous and spontaneous I ingenious ideas coming the ones that could be very pioneering and coming very abruptly given that we're talking about Aries energy also it could be in some cases that neighbors and or siblings if applicable might be expressing some ingenious qualities but could also be showing some unpredictable and unusual like behavior it could also indicate that uh, communications in general might be more sporadic and erratic uh, than usual and keep in mind too that remember that Uranus is also about uh, electricity so it's very important if you're doing anything and you know with your with your neighbors or in the area in your neighbors or with your siblings just be extra prudent and careful you're doing something connected with wiring that the precautions are taken and yet you're not going to get a shock because this could indicate a greater propensity for somebody perhaps a, a sibling if applicable and or a neighbor you know might be a little bit more susceptible to getting some kind of shock at this time so if you're around them and they're doing something like this connected with um, electricity doing wiring just be extra careful during this time with them so anyway next thing is Neptune will be in Pisces still of course and the second house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius so at this time well this could be a time where the financial picture might be a little bit more nebulous and unclear than usual it might be really it also could be um, looking at the second house there might be some confusion perhaps involved with, with you know how you feel about yourself your self-worth and self-esteem uh, you might be really unsure of this as well uh, in some cases it could be a time where you might be generating some money doing something Neptune slash Pisces like such as something connected with the uh, with the metaphysical which can include astrology perhaps something associated with spirituality uh, chemistry uh, photography but keep in mind too that to be exceptionally careful 
in dealing with others in a monetary nature at this time because you could be a little bit more susceptible to being duped in terms of like for say if somebody's going to make some kind of offer to you or make some kind of monetary deal or arrangement and they might pro they might promise you this and that and you make your investment or whatever and then you might not even get anything or hardly any, hardly anything that you anticipated in getting so this is bad this could be a bad time uh you know dealing with con men so i i think those are some things uh to look at as far as um as far as this goes it could also be sadly in some cases could be about the dissolving of income at this time and maybe even your resources your uh possessions so anyway um uh, the next thing is, well, Pluto will still uh, be in Capricorn, of course, and the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time, well, this could be about gaining perhaps power and control in one's private life at this time. Remember that Pluto um, can often, unlike, I mean, Saturn's about restriction, limitation. Pluto can be about destruction and obliteration. And it could be where one's private life may, may feel like it's being destroyed and obliterated. But remember that Pluto is about rebirth and regeneration. Does Just because something may go away for a minute with Pluto, it could come back and, 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 and regain it at some point at this time. So, you know, as, as far as Pluto and 12th house energy may go. It could also be, I mean, if one has a mental illness, perhaps one may you know maybe trying to get more control of it and deal with it better at some in some cases though it could be a, a one where maybe there's an onset of a, a pluton like powerful uh mental illness in some cases and uh anyway uh looking at this it's also about could be about maybe gaining control over your limitations and in in your restrictions at this time as well so Anyway, um, and in some cases, I know people don't like hearing the dreaded D word because, I mean, it, you know, you get some people that are like that. But, I mean, Pluto does govern death, and it could be also in some really isolated cases that it could, this could indicate perhaps the death of somebody that might have figured prominently in your private life, your private sector, so to speak. So, anyway, well, the next thing is, the North Node will still be in Leo, so the seventh house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time for Aquarius, this could be really strongly about, I mean, North Node energy is about our future and where we're going to be directed. So this could be about perhaps directing, um, you know, our future in uh, connected with relationships and being and perhaps being magnanimous and generous with those people and just with others in general, going away from unusual um you know interest in ourselves or doing unusual things for us of which of course is um the south node aquarius first house energy uh bizarre uh, self-centered interests and going on to helping uh doing things more for others uh, and, and being generous in the pro generously helping others it could be about doing something leo related with collaborating on something leo related with someone else uh, such as something connected with the entertainment or theater field, field, something creative, something where you're really showing your ability and also getting, it could be something attention seeking that you may do with others and getting notoriety and recognition uh, for them. Also, it could be having that Leo-like fortitude, that self-assurance and confidence in dealing with open adversaries and maybe having to be a little bit more extravagant than usual in court related matters and it could be you know some court fees that hadn't been been paid but you have to put your attention to it now and put that uh focus and be directed as far as that goes and what you have to do you know as far as things being future related spending a little bit more money on that so anyway well, the next thing is the Black Moon Loth will still be in Capricorn. So the 12th house, of course, is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time for Aquarius, this could be about perhaps a, a hidden adversary might be unveiled or revealed that might be displaying negative Capricorn-like traits, such as a, being tyrant, tyrannical, ruthless, overly ambitious. This could be somebody that might be in business 
uh, or, or working in politics or government person. It could also be, I mean, this could be as somebody that could be a formidable adversary as well. That could be a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, or may simply embody those uh, characteristics. And at some, and, and in some cases too, this could also be a revelation that you didn't want to come out regarding maybe something depressing regarding your personal or private life or a limitation or restriction one may have or even something of a mental illness in some isolated cases that may come out that you didn't want unveiled or revealed. Last but not least, Chiron will still be in Pisces and the second house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Aquarius. So at this time for Aquarius, this could be about perhaps some emotional suffering, uh, perhaps connected maybe with gullibility in monetary matters, being duped and deceived, beguiled. It could also be a lot of self-pitying going on and sorrow connected with maybe a, a, maybe a negative or adverse financial uh, situation one is in. This could also be in some cases, some, some suffering going on associated um, perhaps uh, by putting val too much value into, uh, into drugs, into alcohol, into unrealistic uh, ventures, and maybe some confusion and maybe self-pitying over maybe not having a very a set good sense of self-worth or self-esteem. Keep in mind, too, that Chiron is the wounded healer. So, I mean, this could indicate areas where you're suffering in, but Chiron could also be about helping others. And it could also be about helping others uh, dealing with the things that maybe you're having trouble dealing with yourself in as far as this Chiron, you know, Pisces second house energy goes, but doing so with a lot of that and helping them with a lot of that Pisces compassion, self-sacrifice, and empathy. So anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for my Aquarius December 2017 horoscope forecast. Stay tuned next time where I'll be giving you my Pisces December 2017 horoscope forecast. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.